friends from my last video all of you know very well that Euclid was the earliest known mathematician to organize geometry he was so great that even today Euclidean geometry is in our syllabus Euclid gave 23 important definition in first book of elements some of his definitions are point line ends of line straight line surface edges of surface and plane surface In this definition, you will notice that so many terms like part, breadth, length need to be further defined. So to explain one thing, you have to explain so many things. So mathematician agreed some terms undefined. So Euclid gave such undefined terms and he gave seven axioms. Now let us try to understand Euclid's first axiom. What is first axiom? Things which are equal to same thing are equal to one another. Now you can see in figure triangle A, square B and pentagon C. From first axiom we can say that if area of triangle A is equal to area of pentagon C and area of square B is equal to area of pentagon C then area of triangle A is equal to area of square B. In short A is equal to C and B is equal to C then A is equal to B. So this is Euclid's first axiom and it can be applied to plane figure means figures having same dimension. For example line cannot be compared with square or rectangle. Next axiom is if the equals are added to equals then the holes are equal. For example if there are two jugs, jug A and jug B each with equal amount of water that is 500 ml and if we decide to add 100 ml of water in both of them then the total quantity in both the jugs is still going to remain the same that is 600 ml so this implies if a and b are equal then a plus c will be equal to b plus c it is to be noted here that c which is added to both the sides should be equal only then will the whole a plus c be equal to b plus c for example a plus 4 is equal to b plus 4 or it can be any number for that matter next if the equals are subtracted from the equal then the holes are equal for example we have two boxes, box A and box B, each with equal number of donuts, that is 6. Now what if we decide to remove one donut each from both of them? How many donuts are we going to be left with? Yes, that is right. It is going to be 5 donuts in each of the boxes. Hence, the number of donuts in box A will be equal to number of donuts in box B. This implies if A and B are equal, then A minus C will be equal to B minus C. So it is to be noted just like the last axiom that C here needs to be equal. Only then the remainder on both the sides is going to be equal. For example, A minus 4 is equal to B minus 4 or A minus 3 is equal to B minus 3. Next, things which coincide to one another are equal to one another. For example, now this is as simple as it looks. Things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. As you can see from the figure, shape A is equal to shape B. Next, the whole is greater than the part. Who wants to have a slice of pizza? According to this axiom, the whole is always greater than the part. And as you can see from this example, the whole pizza looks way too bigger than its small slice. Things which are double of the same thing are equal to one another. Now, you can see from the figures, the balloon X is twice the size of balloon R and balloon Y is also twice the size of balloon R. So this implies that balloon X is equal to balloon Y. In short, both the balloons, balloon X and balloon Y are twice the size of balloon R and hence both of them are equal to each other. Next. Things which are halves of the same thing are equal to one another. Means two parts of the same thing are equal to one another. For example, if we cut this yummy delicious orange into two halves, part A and part B, then both these halves are equal to each other. If part A is exactly half of the part R and part B is also exactly half of the part R, then both the parts, part A and part B, are equal to each other. In order for both the parts to be equal, the orange needs to be cut exactly from the middle. 
सो फ्रेंड्स इट इज़ वेरी इजी टू रिमेंबर यू टीच सेवन एक्शन रोहन विल यू प्लीज रिपीट दिस एक्शन श्योर सो टू समराइज एवरी थिंग द फर्स्ट एक्शन स्टेट्स दैट things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another the second axiom states that if equals are added to equals then the wholes are equal third axiom states that if equals are subtracted from the equals the remainders are equal the fourth axiom states that things which coincide with one another are equal to one another the fifth axiom states that the whole is always greater than the part the sixth axiom states that things which are double of the same things are equal to one another and the last and the final axiom states that things which are halves of the same thing are equal to one another thank you for watching the video